I'm thinking about washing the car today since it's getting a little dirty. I don't know if you can see that, but I mean, this is just after a week. One week of just driving around. I mean, not really, not that much at all. And you can see, just look at all that dirt and all that. I think this is coming from the, um, what do you call it? That tire dressing that I'm using from Kriyots. This is the Signature Series wheel cleaner that I got from Chemical Guys. And so I tried it once and you can see I used a little bit there and it just doesn't seem too strong. It's just a little too watery for me. I think people are recommending that I try the Diablo, I think it's Diablo wheel gel or wheel cleaner. The one wheel gel that I did use before, you know, a few years back was the, I think it was the P21S. I think it was from that company and it just, it took off so some of the heaviest brake dust I've ever had on, on wheels. But I'm gonna try this without mixing it and just try this on there directly. Uh, agitate the wheels and then hopefully it, it takes a lot of the gunk off. And if you look right there, that's where the collection of the brake dust is just sitting there. I tried using the wheel cleaner and then agitating with the brush. Uh, but it just wouldn't come out. I'll spray it again, but I doubt it's gonna do anything. I need something stronger or I just need to take the wheel off. And look at this, just look at all that. So this is my wheel bucket. Now I got one of these long handle brushes right here. And I got this brush that I forgot where I got from, but it says easy detail brush. I've had this for years and looks like it's had some use, but it's still works just fine and then I got this little brush that I just got from chemical guys this I think is way too soft to rub any hard uh, break this off anything but I think it's more of an interior I think it's a parts cleaning brush but good thing is it's plastic right here it's not metal so it doesn't really scratch anything so all right so something I'm going to do today is something that I should have done when I got these wheels I'm going to add a layer of protection to these wheels. I mean, these aren't exactly your high-end wheels, but it's something to do to help, you know, ease the cleaning and getting the brake dust off of these little intricate spaces that brake dust tends to, you know, hide and... All right, so that was easy. That took literally about 10 seconds to do, and then all that dried up brake just pretty much gone. I can't feel anything. So it's a good thing if you're waxing just to make sure that you get all of the tiny spaces where things can hide, especially around the valve stem. So a lot of people miss that. So I'm just using this parts cleaning brush just to get into the tight spaces. All right, so this is pretty much all I'm doing. I'm just getting the, the wax and then just applying it by hand since I don't have an applicator pad with me right now, but this has worked for me before, so I'll continue to use it. So it helps get into the tight spots. Hopefully these come out clean if I ever do decide to sell them one day. And then you can always tell if a wheel has been taken care of, if the barrel's nice and clean and taken care of. And then I'm just gonna flip this over to the other side and do the same thing. Um, when I had start and started to uh, buff this off and you can already tell it's already nice and smooth. So hopefully it does um, resist some of the brake dust that can accumulate in, in those intricate areas. And who knows if it does or not, only time will tell. And um, I don't know if any of the brake cleaner is gonna wear down some of the sealant. Uh, the sealant that I'm using is a sealant from Griot's Garage. So it's not um, a dedicated wheel sealant or wheel wax, but we'll see. So only time will tell. It does add a little shine to it. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is noticeable if you really look at it compared to the other wheel. Nah, you guys won't be able to tell on camera, but there, only time will tell. Ha, ha, ha.
Take that back.